Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can create an interactive diagram using PowerPoint. Earlier this week, I made a video in which I demonstrated how to do this in Google Slides. The process is very similar for PowerPoint users. So you can see here, I've already created my little diagram. And I just use the drawing tools that are built into PowerPoint and you can do a similar one yourself. And now I want to link up this part of the diagram to my slides that are related to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, in this case, Executive, and I'm using the Insert menu. We'll select Link. Let's insert a link, and we'll select Place in this document, and I'll choose Executive Branch, and click OK. Now. On the, my executive branch slide, I want to provide a way for my viewers to be able to go back to the beginning at any point. So I'm going to link up my home text that I've written in the upper right corner of my slide. Now, obviously, you could put your text in any corner that you want, but I put it in my upper right corner here. And I'm going to select link, insert link. We'll say place in this document, and we'll go back to slide one so that anytime someone's viewing this slide, they can go back to the beginning if they want to. And I'll do this the same process for the other slides in my slide deck using the same function. So again, highlight judicial in this case, put in my link, and I'm going to link to my slide called judicial. Now, obviously you can repeat this process as many times as you would like, and you could have multiple diagrams within your PowerPoint if you want to as well. Now here's how it's going to look to a viewer. So let's present this and the viewer comes along and they're looking at the PowerPoint. They can click on executive. They jump to executive where I have a video about the executive branch and then they can click home when they're done and go back to the beginning and this time click judicial. And there they are on the judicial branch. So that's how you can create an interactive diagram by using PowerPoint. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.